Hey everyone, Katherine King here and ready for another installment of What Did I Haul? So get your coffee. It might be, well, let's hope it's not a long one. Those take forever to upload. I've got mine. Look at this cute cup. Isn't that cute? Roses are red, violets are blue. Thanks for the belly rubs and picking up my poo. I got this for Christmas last year from my mother-in-law. It was so funny. Cause, uh, so this is her version of a Connie Corso cause they, they only come in black for the mug. And then Bella is, that's a bull mastiff. Well, Bella's not a bull mastiff, but she is black brindle. So she's got, I don't know, she's got a, she's a much, she's got a couple things in her, but I really should have unpacked the peanuts before filming. Sorry about that. Let me just get enough peanuts off so I can dive in. Um, got my spoon. So that must mean that I have, sorry, a scoopable in there. Actually, I just placed an order. She had a, an RTS Friday and I ordered a scoopable out of there. It was the it was Mountain Dew, Key Lime Pie and something, I think. Fizzy Pop, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it sounded good. And I put on there, I don't need any more spoons because I have like 10 of these spoons now. She is so awesome at always including a spoon. And the fact that they don't break, I mean, come on, you know? So, all right, let's get started. So my sticker, uh, I'm acquiring a stack of her stickers I need to put on my bins. Uh, you did not come this far only to come this far. I always love that they are something positive and uplifting and, and just amazingness. Jennifer, even from afar, lifts us up every single day. Well, every time we get a box, she lifts us up, let's be honest. But let's say it's on, you know, you put it on... Like my daughter likes to put um, the stickers on her, her laptop cover. She has a an iPad or a MacBook Air or something. Oops, MacBook Air or whatever. And she likes to stick her stickers on there. But anyway, lifts us up every single day. So what I got, this was the pre-order. I didn't get a lot of individual stuff, but I got two of the samplers. And so that's why this might take a little bit longer. So let's di dive in here. So the first one is Muggle. Okay, so, all right, so there's no scent notes on, on these. Okay, so Muggle is Magical Lucky Charms, Wildberry Mousse, and Lemon Curd. I got two Muggles. That's really good. To me, it is definitely Lucky Charms with lemon curd. It's just as a scent I can't get enough of. That, you know, fruit loopy cereal scent. I seriously cannot get enough. All right. I found the, uh, the pouch here, so we'll do that here in a minute. Oh, looks like I got a few scoops. Let me look at these. Aren't those awesome? Cannot, ooh, one's fizzy pop. I can smell it. And I love it. I blame that all on you, Lori Brown. You. I have learned to absolutely love fizzy soda things. All right, so the first one. Oh, that's right. These were smaller ones this time. Okay, blackberry jam butter, or blackberry jam butter cookies and zucchini bread. And I think I have something similar to this. It's just, I mean, seriously, you cannot get any better than zucchini bread. Oh, but on an off note, I did pick up some Amish bread from another vendor. I like it too. So maybe Jennifer can start offering some Amish bread too. Unless it's basically the same. That is delightful. I'm trying to empty the peanuts out so I can just reload the box. Okay, this next one is pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread, and sugar cookie royale. So I'm trying to branch out in my pumpkin pecan waffles. 
because I don't like the Bath and Body Works candle. There's just something off-putting about it. But so many things are offered with the PPW right now, and so I'm I'm trying trying them out. Oh, my ears plugged. It actually rained last night, guys. It rained. I know I'm in Oregon and I'm excited that it rained. I know, but it's so dry and brown and yucky and it's been such a long, hot summer, which is so unheard of in Oregon. To get rain feels really good. All right, this is really good. It's almost, to me, smells like a muted um, zucchini bread with, you know, that pumpkin pecan waffles. But I need to learn what pumpkin pecan waffles is. So I'm still very new at that scent. Uh, so I have picked up a few things. So I'm hoping to be able to figure out exactly what it is. Maybe I need to just pick up something that is just pecan, uh, the pumpkin pecan waffles so I can understand the scent. The third little guy I got, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, guys. Ugh. All right, sorry about that, is Mrs. Doubtfire. And I have a loaf of this. It's sitting right there um, because Casey, my friend Casey Houghton wanted to try it. So I, <clears throat> I had cut up the loaf and I sent her half the loaf. And so I ordered another one. And I have it in a scoopable because I love the scoopables at work. They, it's so nice, I just put them on my shelf um, I have a Scentsy warmer there. I scoop it out, put it in. Love it. Anyway, so this is Mrs. Doubtfire, which is lemon cream pie, coconut cream pie, and cream cheese frosting. Now, this isn't like an intense slap you in the face lemon. It's just this creamy lemon mixed with the coconut, which I, I did, um, I made for the first time, so I don't eat seafood. I've never liked it. Um, I grew up not eating it. Um, I grew up Seventh-day Adventist. So I don't eat seafood. But uh, so last night, my husband loves seafood. So I thought, all right. So I made halibut. I like halibut. Oh, I'm showing you. Look, pretty, isn't it? Um, and I made him shrimp. So this is my first time ever making shrimp. They took the poop chute out and they had all that ready for me from the local fish market here and. Um, I made it and I tried it and actually it wasn't fishy. So actually, or, you know, uh, salty and, you know, seafoody. And I actually really liked it. Go figure. It was a uh, butter garlic shrimp and it was good. It was good. I had one. It's a texture thing. Might, I might need to get past the texture part. It's kind of almost like crunchy or, or as my husband said, it's crisp. So anyway, it kind of made my house smell. So I had some lemongrass, coconut lemongrass going last night. So I'm hoping that Mrs. Doubtfire can kind of do that same thing of cleansing the air of, because it was really heavy garlic and a touch seafood, but not bad. Anyway, I digress. Next one. This one I have been so excited about. So I love my sister to death and, and I support her in everything. And part of that support pride things. So this is cookie therapy craze, which is cotton candy craze, I believe, and cookie therapy. And she did a miss pour where she did cookie, no, something else with the cotton candy craze or something. But anyway, I love it. It's beautiful. I also got the other, the loaf that she did. Um, oh, and when it cut up, it, all the little layers kind of broke apart and it's this beautiful, beautiful rainbow in my bag. Cause I tend to cut my loaf straight away just cause one day I spent a couple hours cutting loaves and yeah. And when, you know, you know, I hate cutting loaves and what did I get? I got two loaves. Okay. Wow. We're nine minutes in strawberry jam, zucchini bread, peanut butter. Like seriously? I have been waiting for this one and I know pre-orders you have to wait but I it's everything sits in my email until it ships then I take the confirmation email and I move it into 
um, its folder. I have a folder for all my wax pur purchases. So it's been sitting in there just taunting me and taunting me. And I'm like, <gasps> just send it already. Oh man, the first thing I smell is strawberry. I don't know that it's layered. I'm not sure. No, it's not layered. Oh, I just smell strawberry. Oh, I wanted to smell the peanut butter. Oh, I don't smell the peanut butter. I smell strawberry. All right. It still smells really good. I'm hoping once it starts warming, I can get that peanut butter out of it. Oh. I mean, who doesn't love peanut butter and wax? Next one, zucchini bread, brown sugar, and fruit loops. Butter is fast asleep in his little bed snoring down there. Fruit loops. I smell fruit loops over the zucchini bread. Well, the zucchini bread in both of these really light. I smell the fruit aspect first. So those are both really, really good fruit blends on cold sniff. Oh, my ears. I can always tell a change in the season because then my allergies just go cattywampus. All right, let's do these. Before I get to the samplers, I want to do the samples. Boy, this is a small sample. All right, Sea Witch, Liliana's Lullaby, and Salty Sea Air. Okay, they're just little samples, which will be perfect for my bathroom, so. Yep, Salty Sea Air and Liliana's Lullaby. It's pretty. It's a bathroom scent for me. Oh, aren't those cute? They're little, like, little piece of pie and a... Popsicle, could not think of the word. Maybe I need more coffee. Sweet on Paris, cotton candy, vanilla lace. Mm, pretty, pretty cotton candy smell. And then copper tone, orange sherbet, exotic coconut. Hmm. Mm. Okay, exotic coconut to me is re, it's uh, ringing in a little bit laundry-ish. Hmm, different, I like it. Don't get me wrong, I like it. It's probably not something I would order though. All right, Let's scoop my little box over, have some more coffee. All right, are you guys creamer? Are you guys black? Are you just sugar? I use creamer. Oh, you can't see. I don't want to tip it and dump it out. I use Coffee Mate uh, sugar-free creamer. The um, Italian... Oh, she tied a knot in this. I don't want to cut it. Um, does this one have a knot too? The Italian... Nope, this one doesn't. Um... Italian something. Sweet cream, Italian sweet cream and sugar-free. I don't like drinking my calories. So, so I put my creamer in and I use my Keurig. So let me know, are you, got it open. Are you guys just black sugar creamers? What are you? All right, so we are gonna do the Hufflepuff um, thing first. Sampler. <clears throat> oh gosh. My allergy pills haven't kicked in obviously. Okay. So the Hufflepuff is okay. Yeah. Okay. I think the Hufflepuff is sweet cinnamon sugar and pumpkin pasties. And pumpkin pasties are a uh, uh, pastry. Okay, so this one is Cider Lane Hufflepuff. So this has got to be probably pretty heavy in the cinnamon. Oh, it's actually really nice. Fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and the pumpkin pastries. Sounds like Micah's getting into mischief. Really, really nice very light on the cinnamon so i'm i'm all for that this one don't cross oh did i show you it it's just a pink color oh she's got her ball okay so these are chunk muffins so this is fresh baked cookies sweet cinnamon sugar and pumpkin pasties 
So this is Don't Cross Dreams. So it's like a light cinnamon scent with the cookies. Yeah, really good. I'm excited about this. I wondered because the Hufflepuff has cinnamon in it. And I do have some Hufflepuff. Um, but I wanted to, I wanted to try it. Oh, this one's fun. Benny and June Hufflepuff. I have Benny and June and I have Hufflepuff. So Benny and June is the French baguettes, honey butter, and blackberry marmalade. Oh, that is really nice. Mixed with that Hufflepuff. Look at that. I just love her colors. I don't like chunk muffins. I think they're a pain in the toot to, to cut, but oh, that's really nice. That's a really nice mix of the Benny and June with Hufflepuff. Next, the Burrow and Hufflepuff. So this is fresh baked cinnamon rolls with extra brown sugar and vanilla frosting. Did I order the burrow before? I don't know. That's, these totally remind me of fall. Beautiful. Oh, that is just a beautiful mix of the um, cinnamon roll with that, um, the vanilla like cream cheese, um, or maybe just vanilla frosting. Well, it says vanilla frosting, but I'm thinking like, you know, you mix milk with powdered sugar and, and a touch of vanilla and you smear it over the top. Oh, it's so good. So good. Next. Pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie royale, and Hufflepuff. Sweet. That's the very first thing I smell is sweet. So may, is pumpkin pecan waffles like a sweet smell maybe? I really need to order some just pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh, that is so good. Oh. I was going to record this yesterday, but I had a migraine. Went to bed early. I have the after effects of the migraine today, unfortunately. <clears throat> And I didn't want to sniff on scents and give myself a worse headache. So, oh, this one. I love this one. I had this one in a Matrix bar. It's so good. It's late night cookie therapy um, mixed with Hufflepuff. But I have late night cookie therapy mixed with the cookie blend. Maybe it's just late night cookie therapy. Anyway, it's so good. Oh, that's so good because you get the blueberry. That's what I love about the, what is it? Late night cookie therapy is that blueberry. Oh, I love it. I love blueberries. Okay, cookie therapy and Hufflepuff. So that Santa's on keto, pretzel, sugar, um, sugar shortbread. That's what cookie therapy is. It wouldn't be a video without Micah barking, right? Micah. Oh, we must have neighbors walking by with our dog. She stands in my chair and looks out the front window and then barks. He has a German Shepherd he walks by with. Micah! So, this is just a really good blend of that Hufflepuff with the cookie therapy. She's not going to stop. Sugared shortbread, buttercream, frosting, Hufflepuff. So, fresh, oh, the Hufflepuff with the sugar shortbread. Micah June! Oh, that is so good. It's nice. It's like a nice, sweet Hufflepuff. So I really don't smell any cinnamon in this one. Just that beautiful, nice, sweet sugar shortbread. So that's the Hufflepuff. I am so glad I got that. Next one, which you can smell outside the bag. This is the Fizzy Pop one, and I could not wait to get this one. So she had a couple other ones, strawberry, Clo cheese um, and strawberry jam or fresh, no, fresh cut, fresh strawberry, something like that. 
I limited myself to only these two. All right, so Raspberry Whip Fizzy Pop. Oh, she has such a good Fizzy Pop. Oh, that's, that's a beautiful, I'm trying to see, oh, green with it. She has such a good Fizzy Pop. So this is, and I love her Raspberry Whip. That is a great combo. Summer Scoops Cotton Candy Fizzy Pop. So Summer Scoops is strawberry. And it's just strawberry Fizzy Pop. So the Fizzy Pop is quite prominent in these. So good. Oh, creamsicle Dole Whip Frizzy Pop. Fizzy Pop. So, you know, we don't know what comes in these. And I don't know if each bag is the same or different or what, but. Mm. Okay, so creamsicle Dole Whip. Okay, so this one's not as heavy on the Fizzy Pop. Cool colors. Because I can absolutely smell the creamsicle. I don't know if I smell the Dole Whip, but the creamsicle definitely. Oh, so Mm. Strawberry Satsuma Fitzy Pop. I have come to find out I love Satsuma. Oh, that is so good. It's almost like a tangy kind of orange scent in, in this. I don't know if that's the mix. Because some Satsumas have, it's almost like a really intense orange Okay, I know it sounds weird. So you have orange, and I view that as like a light orange. Then you have Satsuma, which is like, <laughs> I know it sounds weird, a dark orange. So, oh, so good. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So good. Blue Hawaiian Pineapple Fizzy Pop. I recently got a blue Hawaiian blend, and I really, really like it. Yep, that blue Hawaiian is definitely prominent. And it's green and yellow. Oh, that's so good. Ice cold lemon lime fizzy pop. This is the one that Danny says is like, smells like really like freezing cold. And it does. Last time I had this, it did give me a headache, so. But I had it in my office at work, and so it just kind of, it didn't like leave my office. It just kind of hung out in there. It's so good, guys. Her fizzy pop and her um, her lemon lime, the ice cold lemon lime, so good. I just keep saying that on every one, don't I? Blackberry fizz lemon sugar fizz, fizzy pop. Okay, the black sugar seems really light, or blackberry fizz. But I can still smell it. It's really good. That is a great blend of those two different like fizzy scents. And then the last one in my order, blueberry lemonade fizzy pop. And I love a good blueberry lemonade. Look at this fun color. Oh, that is delightful. You see how I use a different word? Yes, I love a blueberry lemonade. Oh, wonderful. That was so good. That was such a good pre-order. Um, I didn't go, you know, hog wild. I have so much wax right now that I could probably not purchase and have a couple of years at least. So... Uh, I need to kind of rein it in. Um, I did order from her pre-order or her uh, RTS that was on Friday because there were a couple things that I wanted to try. Um, I got a couple of the pretzel blends, just so you know, um, Charity, I did get those. I'll let you know it's the cinnamon sugar pretzels. I wanted to kind of compare to another cinnamon sugar pretzel that is to die for. Um, and getting stuff like that, I think is easier to get from L3 than some other vendors. <laughs> Sorry, um, totally stuffed up. The change of the weather just kills me every season. Um, anyway, it was a great haul. I loved it. 
and she can fit it in just a regular large size shipping box. I figure if I go into it and I need like two boxes, then I probably bought too much. <laughs> I think my husband would kill me. Every time a box comes in, he's like, more wax. Yep. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for 25 minutes. Sorry about that. I'll catch you in the next video. I have a lot of hauls coming up, just small little ones. I have one here. I'm probably not going to film. Um, it's only got four items in it. Um, but uh, anyway, thanks for hanging out and I'll catch you later. Bye.